I view the, the, the recent update uh, to the guidelines on outsourcing and in particular uh, cloud services as well as third-party vendor management uh, issued out by the MES as very progressive and it, it actually reinforces the viewpoint that a lot of us in the market have that the MES is very focused on fostering uh, a, a, a ecosystem where you can actually balance innovation with, with compliance. Um, so there's, there's, there's a lot with the guidelines, there's a, a lot more clarity in terms of what are really material functions uh, that can potentially be uh, uh, put onto a cloud, but more importantly, what, what are the, the, the governance frameworks that really need to be in place to be able to manage that as well as the third party vendor interaction. I, I think a lot of the challenges will be around really on the third party vendors itself, uh, because they, frankly, they're, they're good at the technology, but they're not necessarily as good as risk management. The banks do it for, as a living. Technology companies generally do, don't. Um, they, 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 they try because of the strength of their technology solution. And so the guidelines really, I think, you know, give a lot more clarity. Uh, and, and it, but it would require uh, the third party vendors to kind of lift the game, right? To get better understanding what does it really mean to keep uh, you know, client data confidentiality, for example, to look at data privacy issues, uh, to look at data protection issues, all of which we take for granted and we leave and brief in financial services. So, so that, that's, that I think is, the, is, is, the, is the, the journey that has to happen.